What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Ryan, with Ryan Zest Quest. Don't even lie, that sounds like the coolest name you ever heard of. Thank you, Nick Kinsley, for giving me that idea. James Zimmerman for coming up with this idea as well. And the boys for holding it down. So, a little quick background. This video is going to be a tad longer. What do you expect? It's the first one. Deal with it. Um, I actually am already on YouTube for some other things. That channel is now gone. Kind of piddling around with it, but it's not really the direction I see myself going in. So, let's give you a quick background. Who doesn't like sauces? Barbecue sauce, hot sauce, dripping, dipping sauce, whatever in between. I love it. Ask my wife, both sides of the fridge fill up and I have to make a lifetime decision of what's going to stay and what's going to be thrown away. So we've got an extra fridge in the garage now and my life has changed and this is why I'm going to do this. So obviously I am not shy whatsoever. You will see that when these videos come out. I'm going to do it like a not an aggressive vlog thing. We're going to walk in the store. I don't know what I'm going to get. It could be a barbecue thing. It could be a salad dressing. I don't know. So, and I'm trying not to curse in this and that's very hard for me. So, um, if you guys have any ideas or suggestions on some little puppies and sauces and dipping things that you like, that you want your boy to try, let me know. You know, I'll take any recommendations at this point because we're brand new, fresh in the press. So, um, obviously I am a very big fan of barbecue sauce and hot sauce. Let's not lie, I, 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 I settle down, can't handle all that spicy stuff like I used to. My dad even told me that uh, it's gonna hurt you when you get older and yeah, I should've listened. So. So I don't want to sit here and say, oh, give me the hottest sauce. No, I don't want to do the death tongue habanero flame hell. I don't want that. I want to find some savory sweet things that make my lips perk up. Oh, so obviously recommendations, subscribe. Don't eat. I'm not going to ask you to hit the bell notification. Um, I'm going to put this on Facebook as well, too. You know, if I'm doing things for the family, you know, old, young, everything in between, you know, subscribe. So this is going to be more a little, a little bit later on when the channel gets a little bigger, maybe in a couple weeks. This is going to be a safari hunt. We are going to be decked out looking like we are Steve Irwin. Rest in peace, Steve. We miss you. Um, and uh, this is going to be a safari hunt. So we got the hat coming. It's going to be a whole nine yards. I'm very excited for that. But right now, just deal with it. I got to establish a baseline, right? So right now, we are at Food Line. I mean, that's where we are. We're in the Settle Down South. And I'm going to go in here. They obviously, dude, Food Line's got a lot, a lot of selection. So that's a good starting point. We're not going to Farmer's Market yet. Settle Down, we'll do that at some point. But we're going to go in here and see what tickles my fancy. Bring it home. Make some home cut fries. I think that's going to be kind of my side dish that I'm going to be trying these little uh, puppy sauce is in unless you guys have some other suggestions I, I just think that i think fries is probably the best thing that can go with pretty much anything yeah so we're gonna make some fresh fries pretty much for every video which kind of sounds terrible we're saying it out loud but i gotta do it so we're gonna make some fresh fries grab one sauce at a time i can't get out of control bring that thing home give you a review on a yum scale i don't know we'll figure out what scale it is later i don't know what i'm doing um and then we're gonna rank it and tell you what i feel about it if it's a grabbable baggable and snaggable experience i will let you know so hang tight, we're gonna be in the store in just a sec. For the people that have never seen a food line before, that's what it is. It kind of looks like a bank here, but uh, obviously for the people that live in Virginia, you know what it is. Um, let's go in here and see what kind of sauce we're gonna come up with. Yeah, way more than you would even expect a food line to have. All right, obviously we're gonna do some home cut fries. So I feel like barbecue sauce, something along those lines is gonna be uh, my little go-to. So obviously we already know that the Sweet Baby Ray's is obviously classic. I already have tried a bunch of those too. Rufus Tea, um, that is pretty popular as well too. I haven't had that in a while. I don't think I've had any of these. Don't even know if they're popular. But, uh, ew, that one looks pretty good, too. I don't know if you guys like any of this Carolina Tang. That's pretty smacking as well, too. So let's piddle around here and see what we can come up with. So we're going to go ahead and snag this guy. I don't even know what it is. I think I know what the, I know what gold is, right? It's kind of like that Carolina gold thing, like a mustardy thing. I don't know. We'll find out. But shout out to my boy Evan over there in Cali. Let's go ahead and grab the Kinder's Barbecue Sauce Cali Gold. Let's see what we got going on. All right, bag is secured. We're in the car, out of the rain. Kinder's premium quality barbecue sauce, Cali Gold, 1946, probably not. Um, that's what it is. Uh, it was around like, I don't know, $5. Do so I need to tell you the price? I guess I will. Five bucks or something. I never had it. I think it's like the mustard thing. So apparently you got this old guy here that knows what he's doing because he's been doing it for 70 years. So it's got to be good, right? 
Um, and then we just got potatoes. So I, yeah, you know, usually I just get frozen fries. If you have any recommendation on how I should make my fries, uh, let me know, I guess. I'm sure I can figure it out. All right, we're going to get back to the house, see what we got going on with this thing, make the French fries and tell you if it's a yum or a yuck. I don't know. We'll figure out the scale later. See you at the house.